Welcome to Tanny Raw's house today. How are y'all? Welcome to the house, the office of love and light. Christopher said I, I, I felt like I was weird, and but I wanted to show you this recipe. I, I, I want Randy and my shirt's got something on it. I don't care, do you? Just show the recipe. Let me show you something. This is an epic, easy, raw vegan recipe. It is lower in fat. It is less than 200 calories for the whole recipe in fat, and I've only used a third of the recipe. Okay, I want to show you what it looks like. Look, this is my second bowl, and it was, it was pictured up cuter, like it was cute before, but now it's not. Like, I'm just eating, and I wanted to share. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. Come on, can you get your sprouts on? Will y'all see that? I want to tell you what's in this. What these are, butternut squash noodles. Now, I have a recipe, a video called uh, Making Butternut Squash Noodles, which shows you how to do that. Really easy, and um, it, clearly you can eat them raw because that's what I ate. But I made those this morning, and then what I did was I left them on the cutting board for several hours just with the dish towel on top, and they become kind of limpy. You know what I mean? Like, can you can you get a load of these, please? Look at this. Hey, people. How are y'all? Hello, friends. I see people. I can't tell you who you are yet. But look, these, this is delicious. Do y'all see? I'm going to show you what's in this. I want to tell you, it's really super, super easy. Are you ready? Get your paper and your pencil. Do y'all know what that's from? Does anybody know? Picture pages, picture pages. Now it's time for picture pages. Get your paper and your pencil. That's back in the day when Bill Cosby, well, it was back before that, you know? Anyway, so let's just talk about what's in the sauce. So in your blender, you're going to start out with a fourth of a cup apple cider vinegar raw with the mother okay then you want a fourth cup of golden raw flax seeds okay golden flax seeds and what you're going to do you never want to buy those pre-ground because they can become rancid uh you want to grind them right before you use them so you take the seeds measure out a fourth of a cup before you grind them because the air is going to make them fluff up right you could use less you could probably use an eighth of cup in this too it really didn't even need that much so anyway you're going to grind those in a seed grinder, coffee bean grinder. Mine is a $2 Goodwill grinder that's from the 70s, so it doesn't even take much. And I pay $2, make you one holler. So anyway, you got the flax seeds, ground those, put them in there. Three pitted decap dates, drop them in. One teaspoon red pepper flakes. Two teaspoons paprika. Uh, one clove garlic, which I forgot to say while I go on Instagram. One tablespoon wakame seaweed. If you don't have wakame seaweed, which is W-A-K-A-M-E, you could use dulse flakes. One and a half to two tablespoons dulse flakes, or you could use sea salt, but I don't use that. Um, then you had one cup of red bell peppers. I had the small ones, and I used the seeds too because I like to turn up the heat. Then we had a half a cup of soaked and drained sun-dried tomatoes. All going in. Start the blend. You're going to have to add a little water. It's going to depend on how thick you want it, but I will give you this tip and trick is that the flax seeds will cause it. Hey, Jen in the house. Hey, girl. It causes uh, the sauce to become thicker, which is a good thing because it's a middley sauce, right? We want thick. Give me the thick and decadent sauce, will you? Anyway, so you're going to need to add a little water. What you do, get it going with the blend. Add about a fourth of a cup of water. Once it gets blended, stop the blender, walk away, you know, put on your mascara because clearly you're fixing a picture of the food once you put on the plate. No duh, right? So then you come back, look down in there and see if it's too thick, add a little bit more water until it is the consistency you like, and you can get a bam. Can you all please, can somebody say my name? Anyway, so what I'm saying is on top of this, I have a little bit of red onion and a little bit of additional mini bales, okay, and then the sprouts are your clo red clover, fenugreek, and radish sprouts, okay, live food for a live body, all right, so I just want to tell you how good this is, it's ridiculous, and it was easy, and I basically made it blindfolded while I was standing on one tippy toe, dancing, okay, blow drying my hair, and Ellie Mae was doing a jig on the floor, it's that easy, okay, it's as easy as falling off a greasy log, okay, like you could do that, look, can, can you get a bite, look, Mmm, hello, hello, thick lover. <laughs> I have been so inappropriate all day. Willie, I wasn't. Y'all just need to get your dang mind out of the gutter, can you? I have a song for you. Is, is anybody home? I see y'all. Hey, Renata, where the 
heck did you? I hadn't seen you in a long time, and here you are, girl. Um, can anybody name this? Name it and claim it. I, I'm watching. Hold on. I, look, I know that I'm Jen. Look, I didn't mean to show. Jen is here. She told me to stop showing my bra, girl. I I wasn't planning on this. It wasn't. It was fun. It was spontaneous. Okay. Name it and claim it. Are y'all ready? <laughs> ah, name that tune. I'm good, Jen. Oh, Jen approves. Come on. Can anybody name it? Name it and claim it. Hey, Tracy. Moretta? No. Moret? Is that right? Abracadabra. Girl! Oh, my gosh. That was like four. That was four beats. What in the world? That, okay, that's impressive. Girlfriend. Let the fire get higher. <laughs> I want to reach out and grab you. Come on. You want to grab this sauce, don't you? This stuff is good. I, I've had a mood all day. I, I have been rocking this day. I really have. Get a bite. Yeah. Shall we have a taste test? Mm. Mm -hmm. Friends, I am sorry that you can't reach. I, I really am. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Can you please? The butternut squash, friends, make them ahead of time. My spiralizer, y'all, this spiralizer is better than any kind I've ever used. It is the, I believe it's the OXO. It's like, it's good grips, okay? Or it is XOX, does anybody know? But it's good grips. You can get them at Bed and Bath. They were like 29 bucks. Duh, use your coupon, right? Like, no duh, that's 20% off. That's $2 off for every 10. I mean, you get all up there. I'm saying, I don't know if you want to throw money away. So anyway, get that. Make up noodles ahead of time. Put them over on your cutting board. Okay, leave them there for a few hours. Cover them with a, a dish rag, and they kind of lamp up. You know, they become a little lampy. Do y'all see? Does that not look like regular pasta? I'm sorry. <sighs> Friends, I'm going to be coming to y'all talking about how calories matter. Number one, getting enough. Number two, not having a thousand dang calorie surplus and not understanding why you can't lose the weight. Well, if you are gaining weight, every month to the tune 10 15 pounds and you're six months down the road thinking wow here's the thing that ain't working for you okay so we need to fine tune this thing and i'm here to do that for you because that that is my specialty i can get some results i, I really can so um I, I wanted to just show you all the sauce and i wanted to i mean i wanted to just continue with this look of weirdness because i've already blasted myself everywhere and i'm whatever like okay i don't know We've got bad connection here today, and I can't even hardly play any music because then YouTube will air this. They, they'll shut me up. They really will. You ain't raw butternut squat. Hey, Jocelyn, are you here too? Girl, I'm everywhere today. What in the world? Mm -hmm. Should we have another bite? Y'all want a bite? Mm. Who said that? Tonya? Is that your name, Tonya? Or is it, is it Tonya? I realize that freezing them and then defrosts them lips, they're not good. <gasps> I almost got choked. Girl, that's a great idea. Y'all want to talk about anything else before I go? Is Tonya? Which is not Tanya. People call me Tonya all the time. I'm like, it's Tanya. Not that I don't like Tonya, but that ain't my name. I don't know. I don't answer anything. Really, I like baby. That's what I like. Nobody puts baby in the corner. You know what I'm saying? This is a mukbang slash mukbang. How do you say it? Oh, it's a mukbang. <laughs> Who said that? Jen. Girl, I should have known. Jen is my soul sister. She really is. Look at that. Mm, there you go, Jen. <laughs> Yum. I'll tell you.
say this right now. Well, we'll tell it another day. You want to talk about anything else? I'm going. And I'm going to eat him. <coughs> I'm going to put some apple cider vinegar on these mosquito bites on my legs because when I go outside, y'all don't know this about me, but mosquitoes eat me alive. It's because, frankly, this may be TMI, but I taste like honeysuckles, okay, and they like it. So I just prepare to be nibbled all the time. <coughs> That's funny, isn't it? Keep it clean, Granny. What? I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. And I feel like I am putting off even more pheromones than usual. You know what I mean? I noticed that when I was in the curb market. I was like, why, why are these dudes looking at me? And it wasn't like the other day when I wore that tank top out of the house and I said I wasn't wearing it because there's a thing called side boob. Okay, I didn't know. Like, I told you about this the other day. And I, and Chris was like, that's a lot of armpit. I'm like, oh, my God. Because like, I had on my jacket. I said, son, that's called side boob. He's like, uh. <laughs> He kind of armpit. Isn't that funny? Hey, Brian, what's going on? You know, just living free, just, I don't know, eating raw food, having a direct connection with the universe where you know it's working in your favor. And and all you got to do is try your bestest every day and show love, and you're going to receive love, and and you're going to eat delicious sauce every day, and you're going to eat all the food, all the live long day, and fit in all your pants. Huh? Do you want to fit in your pants? Yes, you do. Do you want to go into your short drawer and not think, well, am I going to have a muffin top on these today? Am I going to? No, you just slide them on it. And frankly, you didn't even have to unbutton them. You know, you just kind of shimmied your little rear end in there. You just did a honey shake and you slipped them on. How about that? Don't you want that? I want it for you. Because I remember back in the day, friend, I couldn't hardly get in and out of the car. I couldn't hardly walk to the mailbox and back. Huh? But now I can. How about that? Hey, Pamela, what are you doing? Paulette, your Vitamix was delivered today. Oh, my gosh. Let the party begin. You know, that Vitamix is the best thing I've ever bought because I use it at least three times a day, every day. Like, it's a workhorse, which is why sometimes, like, sometimes I break it and I have to exchange it. And Bed and Bath, they know me. But see, they, they only kind of know Christopher, and they don't know Carter that well. So, see, sometimes, like, you do what you have to do, you know? Make it work, because after all, you can make an excuse or make it happen, right? Huh? Rochelle, what are you doing? Girl, I shared the recipe. This will go up right afterwards. Let me tell you again right quick, because Rochelle asked, and I love her with all my heart, soul, mind, and spirit, okay? So here we have, this is what it is. In case you didn't see it, okay, say my name, okay? So here's what's in it. One-fourth cup apple cider vinegar raw with the mother. One fourth cup freshly ground raw golden flax seeds, three dates uh, pitted and decapped clearly, one teaspoon red pepper flakes, two table two teaspoons paprika, one garlic clove, one tablespoon wakame seaweed or one and a half to two tablespoons of dulse flakes, one cup red pepper uh, red bell pepper, uh, half a cup of sun dried tomatoes soaked and drained. You're going to get that blending and you're going to add a little water, probably up to like a half a cup. So it just depends on how thick you want it. This sauce will thicken up with time. So, um, I mean, it's pretty thick. Like, I, this is only a third of the sauce, friends. Do y'all see? Like, that's a lot. Y'all, this bowl was giant and this is my second bowl and I'm clearly eating all the food every dang day. So how about that? The, the ninja will do it. Pamela, you're missing the Facebook Live. Uh, usually I'm on there in the morning, but really it's topic specific. Um, Y'all are speaking about my reset right now. It's topic specific, so I'm really not on there to do yin yang in it, but I, like, I can't like, stop getting sidetracked, Granny. So anyway, um, usually it'll be about the 26.30 to 7.30 every morning, but uh, even if you're not there, it's obviously loading up right afterwards. So, But, but I'd love to see you there. Um, and I know not everybody's on my South Carolina time, you know. You just said my name. Thanks, Rochelle. Girl, I'm glad somebody is. I, you know. You want another bite? Hmm. Talk 
Tanya, um, right now I'm talking, she's saying she hasn't seen me on Facebook. That's because Facebook on Tanny Raw, it shut me up a long time because they don't like me to play music there. And sometimes I just don't follow the rules, okay? Like, I think I can do it my way, have it my way every dang day. And I usually do, but when it comes to Facebook, they're not playing games with me, okay? But now I can talk over there. But I'm talking about my my raw reset, which is going to be the most epic raw reset ever in the, the universe of the raw resets. You know what? But um, that's what she's talking about. Brianna. You know what, though? Now that I have my new Mia Miata cart, normally I like the speed. <coughs> I didn't bring any drink in here. But in Mia... I'll even be thinking, I'm going fast, and I'll look down, and I'm only going 60. Like, I'm, I'm not going to, like, get another speed ticket, I don't think. I mean, I could, but, like, I like to run the stop sign, too. But, but I'm always looking. I just coast, especially because, really, like, she's a straight drive. And, like, can I just coast through it second? Like, I, really, I can coast through it third, you know? Mm -hmm. Bye. I didn't know this was going to be a mukbang. I was just going to show you a quick recipe. You want to talk about anything else? You saw my cute little car. It is a cute. It is the sexiest little car. Mm. Well, I've had a lot of speeding tickets, okay? And, um, Brian, it's your birthday. Brian, happy birthday to you. I hope you have the best birthday ever, right? Um, yeah, Renata's talking about intermittent fasting. I have sent a video recently, about six weeks ago. I have some other ones too, but intermittent fasting, and you can go over there, and I'm talking a lot about that. But I, I have really tightened in and got a lot of results with intermittent fasting, and I've not lowered my calories, changed my macros or anything. And, um, and I posted up a picture on Instagram the other day of these eight-pack of abs, and people have to hate on that. Oh, why she said, so, you know, she looks like, well, whatever. Okay, my, I've got an eight pack of abs. I'm, I'm, I'm your local grandma, okay? So, I like it or not. Here's the thing about social media. I don't think people understand this. If you don't like what I do, here's the thing. Don't look at it. And if you do, it don't cost you a dang thing. So, bam. <laughs> it's so funny because people are like, aren't you going to comment on that? Why would I look through a hundred beautifully positive comments and then one hateful comment and focus on that. Why would I do that? I wouldn't. I think, okay, peace to the brother. I just assume it's my ex-husband, you know, like, because that's funny to me. Or if I get, like, one thumbs down on my YouTube, and I'm thinking, dang, you know, like, he, he lived with me for 21 years and tried to shut me up all, these, all those years, and now he's tuning in. Isn't that cute? But he's going to put a thumbs down. Isn't that funny? Y'all. I love y'all. And thanks for hanging out. And um, listen. I just want to be me, okay? I just want to be perfectly imperfect. And I want you to love me for that. And I'm going to love you for what you are. And it is a great combination, you know? Live and let live. And But I will tell you this. I, I had a... I had something go on and I, I'm not even talking about that. I'm not dating a hunter, okay? I'm not going to date somebody that just hunts for just like trophy hunting or like just for the game of it. I, I just like can't even breathe when I think of like 25 deer heads on the wall and like somebody saying, oh, you look sexy laying on that bear skin rug. What the heck? It's wrong. I don't Here's what's cool, like when, here's what's awesome um, about when people are raptured out of your life, you know. <laughs> y'all smoke, did y'all see that? So they're around for a long time. And then all of a sudden, out of the clear blue, they're raptured. It's like this. And then they're just gone. I, I was talking to Maxie about that the other day, and Maxie didn't understand. And like, I, I don't know, Max, I'm like, you, you got mail, what else could you need? Anyway, Maxie, my dog. So, I'm just saying, here's what's good about it, though. When people are raptured, the person left behind gets to choose again or not. 
like you could be thinking okay so I, I wouldn't choose that again like i know better it's like when you choose your first house or you would probably not have a house built because you wouldn't know what the heck you wanted but after you've owned a few homes you would realize if you want an island or but until you've owned a home or a husband you don't know you just don't know now i do you see and i'm just saying when people are raptured it, it's like an it's an opportunity see it really is true when the door slams in your face bam you know or people are raptured Look, it could seem bad at first. I was talking about this earlier, and I'm going to load up this video tomorrow. Not this one. I'm, it'll load now, but tomorrow. And it's talking about your journey, okay? It's talking about when you begin your journey. It's not really difficult. It's just different, right? And then in the middle of your, your journey, manifesting the new you, it's messy. Because guess what? You're finger painting your new life. But on the other side of messy, guess what's over there? Beautiful, right? So, so when all that happened, pull, you know, and things change, and, and it seemed it seemed difficult, like, but it was just different. But then you try every day, and you start ripping the pages out of your journal, and and you do your best in this moment, mastering the moments, moments plus moments, giving all you can because that's all that matters. And if you don't make it, so be it. Your time was up, right? So, in the middle of that, it's messy, and it's beautiful. You're finger painting, and you had to get those out, and you had to get it, and then it fell on the floor, and Ellie rolled it, and, and it was messy. But then, then you got it together, and it started coming together. And on the other side of messy was beautiful. Because you know what makes you feel alive? When you're content creating your life, when you are manifesting magic in your life, it feels alive, right? And when you're making good sauces, right? I love y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having dinner.